Hello everyone, I am Anandavalli from Guidance Education Channel. We are continuing Class 11 Chemistry, Chapter 4, Chemical Bonding and Molecular Shape. I welcome you all to this new video from Guidance Education Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss limitations of ESCPR theory. We have already discussed the postulates of ESCPR theory, how it works and how it can be applied to predict the shape of many molecules. In this video, we are going to discuss the limitation of VSCPR theory. As you know, no concept can be explained by a single theory. It is not possible. When one theory is put forward to explain one concept, it will have many limitations. That single theory cannot explain all the different aspects of that concept. That is how many theories are put forward in order to explain the same concept. So here we will see the merits of VSCPR theory. As you already know, VSCPR theory is used to explain the shape of a molecule based on the number of lone pairs and number of bond pairs around the central atom for the same number of lone pairs and same number of bond pairs the different molecules will have the same shape when molecules are formed bonds are formed let us see whether vscpr theory can explain all the parameters related to bonds first limitation is it fails to predict the shape of many isoelectronic species what is the meaning of isoelectronic species? Molecules or species, that is ions, having the same number of electrons. Take for example, two different molecules, water and hydrogen sulfide, H2O and H2S. In the case of water, oxygen is the central atom and it has two bonds with two hydrogen atoms. Similarly, in hydrogen sulfide, sulfur is the central atom and it forms two bonds with two atoms of hydrogen. In water molecule, oxygen has two lone pairs. Here, sulfur has two lone pairs. So, both these molecules have two lone pairs and two bond pairs. So, the shape should be the same. As per VSCPR theory, the shape of the molecule is tetrahedral. But in reality, the bond angle HOH, that is this angle, is found to be 104.5 degrees. Whereas in the case of hydrogen sulfide, this angle HSH, this angle is found to be 92.1 degrees. When I drew the diagram, it is shown a bit larger. I, I am sorry, never mind that. In reality, this angle is found to be 92.1 degrees and the angle HOH is 104.5. So, in case of water molecule, the bond angle is larger than that of hydrogen sulfide. So, VSCPR theory cannot explain why this bond angle is different. Though the shape is said to be tetrahedral, the angle is not the same. Now, we will pass on to the second limitation of VSCPR theory. It fails to predict and explain shapes of transition metal complexes. Let us consider again two example hexachlorotellurate. 2 minus and bromine hexafluoride anion. In the first case, tellurium is the central atom and in the second case, bromine is the central atom. Both these have the same number of bonds around the central atom. As per VSCPR theory, the shape is pentagonal by pyramidal. But in reality, it has been found that these two have different shapes. Now we will pass on to the third 
limitation of VACPR theory. The relative signs of substituents are not considered. What is the meaning of relative size? We will take the same example. In the case of water molecule and hydrogen sulfide molecule, the relative size of hydrogen and oxygen in water molecule, you know, hydrogen atom is much smaller than oxygen atom. Similarly, in the case of hydrogen sulfide also, hydrogen atom is much smaller than sulfur atom. But when we consider these two molecules, the relative size of the central atom, it is found that sulfur is much, much bigger than the oxygen atom. We have already seen that in the case of water molecule, the bond angle is 104.5 degrees, whereas in the case of hydrogen sulfide, the bond angle is only 92.1 degrees. This decrease in bond angle in the case of hydrogen sulfide is due to the fact that sulfur atom which is the central atom in hydrogen sulfide is much bigger than the oxygen atom which is the central atom in water molecule. As the size of the central atom increases in spite of having the same number of bond pairs and lone pairs, the distance of the bonded constituents will be greater as the size of the central atom increases. Therefore, the bond angle decreases. So, the fact that VSCPR theory fails to explain the shape of isoelectronic species is because of the fact that the relative size of the substituents is not considered. Okay, now let us see the next one. Orbital overlap also is not considered. When bonds are formed, the hybridized orbitals overlap due to the difference in the orbital overlap. Pi bond or sigma bond may be formed. That is not taken into account. That is why in many cases VSCPR theory fails. One more limitation is it does not consider bond length. As the size of the constituent atoms change, bond length also will change. That will also affect the shape of the molecule. So, the geometry of the molecule cannot be fully explained by VSCPR theory. I hope you are able to understand. So, since this theory has limitation, we have to consider the next theory which was put forward to overcome the defects of VSCPR theory. I hope this video was of use. If you think it is useful, consider striking the subscription button. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video with the next important topic. Till then, bye. Take care.